What's up y'all, it's your boy Mixed by P, and I'm back with another video. In this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm teaching you guys how to use the Gate plugin. And if you're new to my channel, I do tutorials teaching people how to professionally record, mix, and master on Logic Pro X by only using the free stock plugins. And I also have lessons on Pro Tools using more advanced plugins like Waves, Fab Filter, Isotope, stuff like that. So I have a little bit of something for everybody, no matter what level you're at, beginner, intermediate, expert. So if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that button for me so I can show you how to be the best audio engineer you could be. Now, what is a gate? A gate, to put it simply, is just a plugin that you can use to cut out all noises that are quieter than a certain dB level, a certain loudness level, right? So it's just a tool that engineers use to cut out any unwanted noises from your recorded track. So here I have a chart that I just made real quick because I wanna give you guys a visual to match with the definition of a gate, right? And that makes it a little easier. It made it easier for me when I was learning. No other engineers doing this on YouTube. I looked when I was first starting out and I couldn't find anything. So this is something that's just gonna make it as simple as possible for you. So DBs, as I've taught you in other videos, guys, that's just a measuring unit for like loudness, right? So something super quiet is gonna be like, you know, three dBs and me yelling is gonna be at 20 dBs. It's just how loud uh, a sound is. So when you're recording vocals, you're gonna have a track that you're going like this and this is your voice and it's going down here and then boom, okay? So this looks really weird, but stay with me guys. So this is your voice, right? This is a track that you did, okay? And now you punched in, let's say the line is, yeah, I get money, boom. Yeah, I get money, boom. And now you're waiting for the next, for you to come in again, right? But in that little empty space, sometimes there's little background noise, like maybe the fan, the air conditioning. Uh, maybe somebody's talking in the background. Maybe their your phone vibrates or something, and it's right up here. And it's not as loud as this. It's not 15 dBs loud, but it's something like 3 dBs and 6 dBs, right? And so it does come in. And then, you know, you come back and you record the rest of the, the, the lines, right? But this little area right here, this little area comes up in your final recorded track. And what a gate does is it basically, it's a, a point that you can set, like I can set my gate to not allow anything, you know, quieter than 6 dBs, cut it out. So I can set my gate threshold at 6 dBs and it won't let anything quieter than 6 dBs be heard. It just like kind of puts a, a stop to everything. It just cuts out the track completely. It doesn't let anything come through. And that's why they call it a gate, right? So think of it as like access granted, right? Anything that's louder than 6 dBs, you can come through and, you, and it allows you to hear that. But anything less than 6 dBs, like some background noises, some air conditioning, stuff like that, it cuts out. And you can make it 6 dBs, you can make it 3 dBs. You can control this gate threshold however you want. And so this makes it a really good tool for cutting out, uh, you know, like I said, air conditioning, background vocals, uh, if your phone goes off. You can use the gate plugin to just cut everything out completely that's not your main vocals. So now I pulled up a Logic track and these vocals right here are what we're gonna be focusing on. These vocals have some background noise in it. And I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like. First, we're gonna mute the beat so that we only hear the vocals and I show you guys what we're about to do to these vocals to make them cleaner, right? So let me play it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is, man. It's your boy Miss Vaipi. Hey. So as you can hear, there's some little noises like, let's say the, I think I smacked my lips before I said something like that. And these are just like vocals that I recorded messing around, just for an example, right? So you can hear like a, a lip smacking. You can hear um, kind of like some AC in the background, right? So we can use a gate to cut those noises out completely, right? 
So I'm gonna go over to this track, I have it highlighted. I'm gonna go to the plugin section and we're gonna go down to dynamics. I know it says it right there, but that's because I just used it. Um, but it's gonna be for you if you haven't used it before. It's under your dynamics and it's at the very bottom, noise gate stereo. You wanna use stereo. And remember guys, I don't get anything from making these videos and these tutorials. The one thing I really ask is that you please smash the like button for me. It helps out my channel a lot, it helps me grow, and it helps me keep making these tutorials for you guys and teaching you guys. So if you could just smash the like button for me one time, it would really help me a lot and I would appreciate it. And now, you can set this. Open means that it's letting vocals through. Closed means that the gate is closed, no vocals are coming through, no sounds coming through, right? So we have to have it to where those little, um, the AC, it's displaying as closed. That means that it's cutting it out. And you know, the trick is you have to find the good level to where it's letting uh, our main vocals through the gate, but then everything else like the smack and the uh, AC, cut that out, right? So right here, this is the threshold, and this is Logic's uh, free stock gate, and it's actually really, really good. It does everything you need. So right here is the threshold, and that's what we're gonna be manipulating up and down. We're gonna turn the knob up and down to find that point where it's cutting out the AC and the unwanted noises, but it's letting the rest of the main vocals in. And negative 100 dBs, that's a good, that's fine reduction, I guess. Um, that just makes it completely quiet. That just smacks it. Um, attack, hold, release. That's stuff that I've explained in other videos. You know, attack is how fast and how aggressive this gate is, you know, uh, being applied. Release is how slow the gate um, is get, getting taken off, you know. So those are things that you just play around with according to every song that you're working with. You know, there's never going to be a perfect one size fits all answer for those. So that's why I just explain what they do and you have to figure out the best settings for those according to whatever you're working on. So I'm gonna play it. You know what it is, man. It's your boy Miss Vip. You know what it is, man. It's your boy Miss Vip. You know what it is, man. 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 It's your boy, Miss Vaipi. 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 Hey. Yeah. 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 You know what it is, man. You know what it is, man. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, Miss Vaipi. 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 Hey. You know what it is, man. You know what it is, man. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, Miss Vaip. 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 Hey. There it is. I found the perfect threshold for our gate. It's letting our main vocals come through. But as you can hear, it took out all the air conditioning in the background. It took out the white noise in the background. It took out the smack out of the voice. The one thing that it didn't take out was the headphone bleeding in the background. And I think that the headphones were just a little too loud as you could hear like towards the end. So one thing that, you know, the gate isn't gonna take care of everything guys. So you're gonna have to uh, probably just chop that up and, and cut it out, you know, manually. But the gate does a good job of taking out all the other stuff kind of in one easy 
plugin. But there is gonna be some times where you have to take things out manually just by using the scissors tool and cutting it out. But you can see why this tool is extremely useful and important when engineers wanna take out like background noises and little voices, stuff like that out of the background. It's like the easiest tool to use. This is the tool that you're gonna to go to when you need to do something like that. You know, when I was first starting out as an audio engineer and learning how to mix and master, I would hear the term gate very often, but nobody explained it to me. Nobody broke it down like this, you know, so that's why I made this video because I remember I couldn't understand what is a gate, what is a gate? And that's why I explained it to you with the chart and with everything step by step. So I hope that helped you guys understand what a gate plugin is and how to use it. And that's one thing that I've learned about audio engineers in this industry is they don't like to give out the sauce. They don't give out knowledge. You have to basically pry it out of them. You have to ask them. You have to do some sort of exchange for it. And that's why I kind of made sure that I give out as much knowledge and sauce as I can. I gave out, I give out all my sauce on my website mixedbyap.com I have all my information everything that I've ever learned from all the Grammy winning engineers I've mentored under and the engineers that mix all your favorite rapper stuff and I've collected all these bits and pieces of knowledge from the best engineers in the game everything I've ever learned every industry secret every mixing method all on mixedbyap.com. So if you're really serious about being an audio engineer and you actually want a career in this industry, just go, trust me, mixedbyap.com. Trust me. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to keep teaching you guys everything I know about mixing and mastering to help you become the best engineer you could possibly be. And as always guys, I'll see you in next week's video. I'm out.